You know what's great? The thing I love the most about what's happening right now in the news cycle is how, you know, two or three weeks ago when uh, Judge Eileen Cannon finally said, okay, Trump, I give in, you can have your special master. A lot of folks on the left acted like, well, this is the end of that investigation, right? Dude's going to kill this investigation. He's going to hamstring it. He's going to delay it. Trump's going to win again. And man, that could not have been more wrong because judge Ray Deary, the special master in this case, the guy Trump's people picked really actually seemed to be a hard nosed kind of, I'm sick and tired of you already, Donald Trump kind of guy. And I am loving every second of it. This week, judge Deary filed a motion in court telling judge Eileen Cannon that she, well, might have screwed up to put it mildly when she took a part out of the original special master order for no reason at all. Let me read what judge Deary filed in court this week. In the original appointing order, the court directed that the special master shall submit interim reports and recommendations as appropriate. Upon receipt and resolution of an interim reports and recommendations, the court will consider prompt adjustments to the court's orders as necessary. So before I continue, basically what this means is that, Hey, judge Deary, you got to check in with the court. Tell us how things are going all throughout this. And if we need to change anything with the order, we'll do it at that time. Until then you keep doing what you're doing and you keep us, you know, informed about what's happening. However, the court later struck that language as part of its order, implementing an unrelated ruling by the 11th circuit. As the language quoted above as to interim reports and adjustments to prior orders is consistent with the 11th circuit's ruling and the efficient administration of the appointing order as amended, the undersigned respectfully recommends that the court issue an order reinstating that language. So here is what that means. Basically judge Deary is calling out judge Cannon for taking something out of the order that should not have been touched. Right. We know that the 11th circuit recently up, uh, not upheld, but recently ruled that the DOJ can keep going through those classified documents while judge Deary is doing his job. Now, the reason these interim reports are important is because as the original order stated, they allow the court to make adjustments, right? If we need to change something, we can do that. You just let us know and we'll do it. Well, now the court by taking that order out says we're not changing anything. And if you want to change something, if we need to give clearer orders or different orders, you're going to have to go through an entire, you know, court hearing, possible appeals process in order to make it happen. In short, judge Cannon, it, I don't want to say illegally, but improperly removed that language to benefit Donald Trump after the 11th circuit shot his ass down. She was still trying to protect Donald Trump and the special master, as you can tell, he's pissed off, right? Of course, that's a lot of legalese and it's very hard to tell when somebody's pissed off in that. But if you understand that language, you know, this dude's mad. Like he is not happy with judge Cannon and he's calling her out, possibly even pointing out some wrongdoing on her part. He's like the 11th circuit didn't touch this. So why did you touch it? That's not how this works. You cannot do that. And you're going to delay this investigation even longer if you don't remove that language or if you don't put that language back that you originally removed. So here's my big takeaway from all of this. Originally, when Donald Trump first brought this issue to judge Cannon, she specifically said, why are you even bringing this to me? I don't have jurisdiction. Oh, by the way, your lawyers didn't even file things correctly. So you got to refile everything to me. So she admitted at the beginning, I'm not supposed to be handling this but she handled it anyway. The DOJ had pretty successfully argued. There is no need for a special master. We've identified everything that is privileged. And she said, Oh, cool. I'm gonna do it anyway. Cause I love Donald Trump. And then when two of Trump's own judges on that panel for the 11th circuit struck down her order saying you can't review while special master does it. She then says, okay, well, how can I benefit Trump further? Oh, I'll take out this language that'll delay the investigation even further. Should something come up? I think it's time we have an investigation into judge Cannon and her actions with this case specifically in my book, this is very clear, uh, judicial misconduct. 
the kind of judicial misconduct that could ab absolutely get a judge impeached and removed from the bench. And if you ask me, that's exactly what needs to happen based on her behavior in the last two months alone. Hey everyone, this is Aspen. And did you know that for the low, low cost of $0 per day, you can subscribe to the fair and balanced YouTube channel. We also encourage you to like comment and share, but again, click that subscribe button and help Aspen oh, not be so grumpy.